Okay, let's talk about this error that you definitely want to watch out for when you're doing problems like this. So we're um, obviously talking about algebra here. And uh, I want to kind of give you an opportunity to see if you can figure this problem out all on your own before you see me uh, explain it and see if you actually make this little mistake. Now, the mistake that we're talking about is a lot of uh, very common, right? So this is what I'm trying to kind of emphasize is uh, a lot of students forget this step, okay? And then, of course, they end up getting the problem wrong, and then they look like this at the end of their test or quiz. And my objective is always to teach you, if you're going to spend a little time with me here with these videos, is to have you look like that so you can get your nice A plus and 100%. So this is not hard, but, uh, you know, you, we don't ever want to confuse difficulty. Or, well, let me say it this way. Just because something's simple doesn't necessarily mean it's easy to always remember and you know, um, apply, okay? Because in mathematics, there's so many little details that mean the difference between, you know, right and wrong. And we're going to talk about one of these little mistakes that a lot of students uh, tend to make. And then, you know, hopefully they make the mistake enough where they say, you know what, I'm not going to do that again because I'm very interested and in looking like this after my test or quiz. So we're going to go ahead and explain this. But again, I'm going to give you an opportunity to, well, you should at least try. If you think you know what to do here, go ahead and challenge yourself, uh, you know, pause the video and do this prom. Also, I'd be interested to see if you can actually graph the solution as well. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about this little symbol uh, right there, okay, kind of defines what type of problem this is, and this is an inequality symbol. So in algebra, we have things that have this symbol, which is, uh, this is an equation, right? This is an equal symbol, and uh, that's not what we have here, right? We have this symbol. So this symbol here is what? Is it greater than or less than, okay? Well, it's definitely an inequality symbol, but I'm just curious, which one do you think it is? Well, if he said less than, then that is not right. If he said greater than, well, then let's give you a little star here for your happy face. This is the greater than. The way you uh, remember the difference is the less than looks like an L. You see, it looks like a little sideways L like this. So this is less than, this is greater than, and then we have greater than equal to, less than equal to. Okay, so those are the basic inequality symbols, and you need to know how to solve uh, inequalities in algebra. Very, very important. You absolutely uh, need to know how to solve these. Not difficult. The main thing here first, before you get into inequalities, is you need to know how to solve equations. Okay, so if you're not um, strong at solving equations, you need to go back and review, <coughs> excuse me, uh, how to solve uh, linear equations. Now, if you're struggling with that, I'm going to give you some uh, guidance here all in a second. Of course, I'm going to thoroughly explain this little error, okay, this little mystery error. Not difficult, but again, something that I want to, um, you know, emphasize to be on the lookout. When you see inequalities in algebra, be on the lookout for not making this mistake. Okay, so we're going to get to this in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program. I found the link in the description. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses. I have all the main courses like pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching my pre-calculus course here very shortly. It's taking it, the, all my courses take me a tremendous amount of time uh, to develop because uh, very, very comprehensive. That's why I think that my uh, program is. Uh, pretty darn exceptional, okay? And hopefully, if you're interested, you can go and check it out for yourself. But um, beyond those courses, I have many, many uh, specialty courses in test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED or the high set task or the G, uh, GMAT, GRE, teacher certification, Alex, AccuPlacer, there's so many different uh, type of uh, courses out there or exams that people take that, you know, they study mathematics outside of an actual course. They're not taking a math course. They're studying math because they need to pass these exams. And many exams, you know, like, say, nursing uh, entrance exam, you know, that has that has math on it, a pretty good amount of math. So if you don't pass the math section, you don't, you, don't, you know, get into your placement or pass your certification. So there's a lot of writing on these particular exams. So I have many, many uh, courses uh, for test preparation. So if that's your situation, go ahead and you can just check out my course catalog on my site. 
Also, I do a lot with uh, independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you uh, homeschool, have a great homeschool learning uh, program. And then obviously help those of you out uh, that are struggling in your current math class. Now, if you are having difficulty in mathematics, one thing that you could immediately do to help your situation out is to improve your note-taking. I kind of call this my golden rule of math. Over decades of teaching uh, the uh, topic, one thing's clear uh, to me is that those students who take great math notes almost always look like this person at the end of the year, and those students who are just not into taking notes are like, eh, you know, notes aren't that important to me. Uh, you know, I don't want to put the effort into it. Listen, I was, you know, a student once as well, and I made all those mistakes. There's nothing more critical than note taking. It keeps you focused and engaged. And, you know, like what I'm going to share with you here, this little mistake that people must, uh, you know, make, where are you going to remember this? Are you going to put it into your, you know, like your memory? You're going to be like, yeah, I'll watch a video. I'll remember it. That's not the case. Okay. When you write things down, it goes deeper into your long-term retention. So take notes, okay? Uh, I'll just say this. Blame me on this one, okay? If you improve your note-taking, your uh, grades will improve dramatically. But uh, in the meantime, you need something to study from, so I offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. So you can find links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, now... We're talking about inequalities here. Did you uh, pause the video and see if you can do this problem? Okay, you should try, you know, at least. If you're totally lost, then I'm glad that you found this video because we need to get you unlost because this is critical stuff to basic algebra. Okay, so let's uh, do an easy problem here real quick. So let's take this problem. 2x is uh, equal to 10, and we'll do this. 2x is less than 10. Okay, so we have an equation and we have an inequality um, uh, here, an algebraic inequality. So what's the difference between the two? Well, the difference is uh, here, this has one specific solution. So can you solve this basic equation? All right, hopefully you said, yeah, I could solve that. Just divide both sides of the equation by two and x is equal to five. Okay, that is in fact correct. And if you got that right, go ahead and give yourself a happy face. That's pretty good. Now, that's a nice, easy equation, but just this notice, there's one specific uh, solution to our equation, to our answer, okay? That's the, in equations, you're going to have a specific number of solutions, and I'm kind of speaking generally because there's so many different types of equations in algebra, but let's talk about this guy right here, okay? So 2x is less than 10. Well, as I stated, Solving inequalities is very similar, at least in the steps. You need to know the steps to solve equations because we're going to kind of solve for x. You're going to be thinking in, in those terms. We're going to try to isolate this x. So if this was an equation, uh, you could see we just divided both sides of the equation by 2. But here we're going to divide both sides of the inequality by 2, like so. Okay. So when we do that, we're like, okay, x is less than 5. Okay, x is less than 5. In fact, that is the solution to this inequality. All right, but what does that mean? Well, it means that all x's, all values less than 5, uh, are, okay, the solution uh, set to this original inequality. Now, this um, statement here, x is less than 5, we can uh, put it on a graph. So we draw a little number line. Here is 0. Here is five, and this is a, you know you need to know how to graph inequalities um, on the number line. So how do we do that? Well, all the numbers that are less than five are in this direction. Okay, so we're going to draw a little circle at five, and then we're going to draw an arrow this way. And this means all the values less than five, but not including five. Okay, not including five, right? But all the numbers just less than five in this direction are the solutions to this inequality. So this is just the basic kind of, you know, mechanics of dealing with algebraic inequalities. Now, hopefully, you know, you're pretty familiar with that. And if you are, that's excellent. So now let's talk about uh, this error. Okay, now I'm going to use, um, I'm going to get to the problem that I showed you here in a second. But let's do this. Let's put negative, negative 2x is less than 10. Okay, so how do we solve this problem here? 
So you're looking at this, you're like, okay, well, do we do the same thing? Yeah, well, effectively we do the same thing. However, there is a catch. So let's see how well you know your algebra here. Okay, so you're gonna divide both sides of the inequality by negative two, okay? So we're gonna get x is something negative five. Okay, now I said something because this is where the, uh, the um, error uh, lies, okay? So it's either gonna be this uh, less than symbol, okay? Or it may be this, x is greater than negative five, okay? Now, how many of you uh, so did this, okay? Be honest with yourself. If you flip the inequality symbol, then definitely give yourself a big happy face with a little mohawk and an A plus because that's fantastic. That means you kind of remember your, you know, your inequalities. You're like, oh, awesome, yes. Anytime you divide an inequality, okay, by, by a negative number, anytime you divide by a negative number when you're solving an inequality, you need to reverse the uh, symbol. Okay, in other words, if it's going to be, if it's a less than, the original problem is less than, re reverse it, okay? So whatever it is, just flip it, okay, like so, okay? That's a big, big, big thing that a lot of students tend to forget, all right? So that's the first main thing, okay? If you remember that, then you're good to go. Now, a lot of students think that, okay, if I divide by a negative number, then that's the one thing I need to do to flip. But it's not necessarily the case. Yes, that is the case. But also, let's take a look at our problem here now. If you're solving a problem like this, okay, here's an inequality, uh, uh, some, uh, inequality problem, okay, our symbol here is greater than. So how do we solve this? Well, in algebra, let's, uh, in terms of an equation, most of you, okay, might uh, multiply both sides of the equation by negative two, okay? Which is effectively the same thing as dividing both sides by negative one half, right? So some of you would say, well, I would uh, solve this by dividing both sides of the equation by negative one half, whatever this number is in front of the x, I'll divide it. That's true, yes, you could do it that way, but typically uh, we'll wanna multiply, okay? Both sides, we'll flip this, the, reci the reciprocal, Okay, and multiply like this, right? So that's how we're going to want to do things. But here's the deal, right? So let's say you're thinking in those terms here, like, okay, I want to get x by itself. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the inequality by negative 2, all right? So if I do that, okay, you're just, you're like, I'm multiplying by negative 2, so I get x is greater than negative 10, okay? Uh, what the error that I'm talking about is this. A lot of students will remember when they divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, they'll flip the inequality. But the same applies if you multiply both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you also flip the inequality. So here, I would have to reverse this, okay? So I have to be very careful. This is greater than, so this becomes less than, all right? So that is the error that we're talking about. A lot of students will say, oh, it's only when we divide, you know, but division or multiplication division, it's the same thing. The same rule applies, we re, uh, reverse. So when we do that, we kind of draw our little number line here and graph this. So here is zero. It's called this negative 10, okay? Right here, we'll put a little open circle. All x's that are less than negative 10 is going to be our solution set and that'll be uh, this direction. So I have more videos on inequalities and the graphs of inequalities and compound inequalities. There's a lot to inequalities and inequalities are absolutely critical uh, in mathematics. So um, the one thing again that gets, you know, uh, uh, throws students off is these little details. Just when you're, anytime you, you see an inequality symbol in algebra, immediately start thinking about these two uh, situations when we uh, reverse the sign, okay? Reverse the inequality uh, sign. That's when we divide both sides of an inequality by a negative value or multiply both sides by a negative value, then we will flip the sign. And then of course, that's gonna change everything in your final answer, okay? And again, all these little details, where are you gonna put this? You're gonna just watch a video and be like, oh no, I got a photographic memory. No, that's not going to be the case, all right? You got to put this into your notes and then you got to review and you got to practice. But 
you know, learning math, everyone can learn math, you, but you got to, uh, you know, approach uh, the, the subject with discipline and commitment, okay? My job is to teach you in a clear and understandable way, and hopefully that's what you found in this video. And if you did, if you're like, you know what, I actually learned something, I actually like this video. If you, you know, if you, you thought it was beneficial, please consider smashing a like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time, 10 plus years. I already have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of math videos organized on my channel, basic to advance in various playlists. But if you want my best uh, math help, uh, just check out the links in the description below. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.